G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Oppo A74 5G. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the mustache. All right, so we've got the Oppo A74 5G, and this is coming in at just over the $400 price range, which I think is a great price for such a high spec or well spec device. And we're gonna go through what? Just quickly, go through some specs on the box here. We have six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. This is the Space Silver color. That's a bit of a mouthful. It's the Qualcomm 5G Snapdragon and comes with a 90 hertz display, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and like I said, six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. And... Okay, first thing in here, let's have a look and see what we get in here. Some ejection tool, some booklets, some booklets, and a case. Yes, Samsung, they gave us a case. Like I said earlier, this is a 5G SIM card out of my Realme X3 Super Zoom, which was in my S21 Ultra, and it's gonna go in the Oppo A74 5G. So let's just flip it over and have a look and see what we have here. Bit of a sticker Rooney there. Like I said, this is the space silver color coming in with a nice little camera on it, which we'll test out in a minute. Then we have the fingerprint sensor on the side here. We have a front facing camera there. On the bottom, you have a mic jack, USB type C, speakers, and a microphone here as well. Volume rockers on the left hand side. And I tell you, it's a good size device. Feels good in the hand. Put the case on, doesn't add too much bulk. Power it up, see if there's any juice in it. Also in the box, you get a charger, some headphones and a USB type C cable, USB A to USB type C, which is good to see. I mean, again, you always look at these top of the range phones that have been released by Samsung and Apple, and they put nothing in the box. And that's a shame on those guys because they're just ripping you off basically. But not uh, phones, phones like Oppo and a few other brands, they are not ripping you off. Chargers, cases, everything you need in the box. All right, let's quickly try and breeze through this as quick as I can. Setting up is pretty stock standard Android experience for setting up your smartphone. And I don't, I, I like the look of it. I mean, it's a good looking device. It's not too big, not too heavy. Now my Galaxy S21 Ultra is way heavier than this, but it's got the same size battery. This is not as heavy, which is really nice to see. And by the way, if you are used to this channel, you would know that I used to have a black background behind me, yeah, but I moved house, so this is a new studio. I will be painting that either black or dark blue, um, but let me know if you think I should keep the white. I'm thinking I should get rid of the white, put the black background and keep the mustache. So I've just done the basic login to my account. I haven't set up all my apps yet, but we're just gonna have a quick look. And as you can see, it looks pretty fluid just from the start. Now we are gonna also have a quick look at the camera. So, and I'm gonna take a picture of this lens that I've got here. So it is like indoors, but just gonna give us a quick sort of idea of how fast the shutter is and what sort of image the camera pushes out. And the shutter is really fast to start with. I definitely noticed that. And like I always say, you want a fast shutter so you have a good camera experience and you're getting that here. And as you can see, gee, that's a pretty clear looking image. I mean, we're under good lighting conditions, but I reckon that's pretty, pretty positive to start with. And then if we go over to more, you can see here you've got slow mode, time lapse, pro mode, extra HD, panorama, text scanner, which we all need these days, macro, and your sticker. So let's go macro. And it says put four centimeters away from your subject. I think that was four centimeters. And then let's have a look here. That is very macro. Now, 
As with most macro cameras, I don't know whether you're better off just taking a photo with the main lens and then just cropping in or using the macro lens, but I'm going to try it out. I'll play around with it and see what sort of results I get. Now let's go portrait. So I've got plenty of good light here, plenty of light here. So I'm going to take a bit of a selfie. We'll always love a good selfie, a good CW. Look at that mustache. Right, front facing camera, shutter's nice and quick as well, and then if I zoom in, this is, <laughs> that's a terrible moustache, crikey, but the picture is really good. And then look at the blurred, blurred background there, um, so that's not bad at all, actually, I might just try another one, just for the fun of it. Uh, that's in portrait mode, so I'm going to go photo mode. Should I pucker up? Definitely enjoying the speed of the shutter. And that's a really clear image. Uh, I mean, someone like me, you probably don't want the image being too clear. Um, you want as much beauty mode as possible. But that's a good that's a good camera to start with. I'll, in my full review, I'll definitely let you know exactly how it performs. Alrighty, so we are back. And guess what? The phone's all set up. Everything's set up on it, uh, except for a few apps. But mostly the apps are all set up. And I've got to say... First impressions are really good. It is really quite snappy. That 90 hertz display really does help with the performance of it or the appearance of the performance, I should say. But just look at that. It looks fine to me. Uh, this is currently in dark mode. Something that I'm really enjoying about this is that it's actually got Android 11 on it. So I'll just go in here and show you. Software update. Checking for updates. Color OS version 11.1, .1, Android 11. That's nice to see. Now, I've done a little bit of gaming quickly as well. So, look, to be honest with you, it's been 24 hours since I actually unboxed it. I just paused it and set it all up, and I've used it for a day. So, this is definitely a first impressions video. But I did some light gaming on it, Asphalt 9. It definitely stood up to the test, and I'm just going to show you quickly here. A little bit of Asphalt 9 gaming. I've got the sound down just in case I get pinged for, um, you know, a um, copyright breach from the music on it. Uh, you never know what's going to happen these days with uh, the old YouTube. Oh, here we go. Big jump. Big spin off the jump. Look at that. What a champion. And another one. What a superstar. Look out. He's incredible, this bloke. So it's actually got the Snapdragon 480 5G and 480 nits in the display and all the ports are there that we need. So we've got the headphone jack, USB Type-C. So you've got the 48 megapixel camera on the back and then the main sensor is a wide angle. Then you have the ultra wide, the macro and the depth sensor. So it's not bad for the price. Let's just check out what sort of resolution you can record in video on. And it's 1080p, 30 frames per second. And there's a bit of very variable frame rate slow motion shooting in there as well. So nothing spectacular on the video front, but as an all-round performer, a day-to-day -day phone, this is looking pretty good. But stick around for my full review, which I'm filming as we speak, testing out the phone. It looks like another winner by Oppo, but I will let you know in the full review Definitely. Don't forget, comment down below. There's also links down below to Oppo, Amazon, eBay, and wherever else I can get affiliate links because YouTube pays sweet FA. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Check ya.